The Aerial Phenomena Task Force released a long-awaited UFO report close to midnight on the 25th of June, and the results are, you know it, they still cannot explain what is going on in our sky. Wait to hear this. The report apparently concentrated its review on reports that occurred between 2004 and 2021, and it dealt with 144 reports that originated from United States government sources, and of these 144, 80 involved observations with multiple sensors, and most reports described unidentified aerial phenomena as objects that interrupted pre-planned training or other military activities. In 18 of these incidents, described in 21 reports, observers reported unusual aerial movement patterns or flight characteristics, and the report on these incidents reads as follows. Some UAP appeared to remain stationary in winds aloft, move against the wind, manoeuvre abruptly, or move at considerable speed without discernible means of propulsion. In a small number of cases, military aircraft systems process radio frequency energies associated with UAP sightings. The Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force holds a small amount of data that appears to show UAP demonstrating acceleration or a degree of signature management. Additional rigorous analysis are necessary by multiple teams or groups of technical experts to determine the nature and validity of these data. And we are conducting further analysis to determine if breakthrough technologies were demonstrated, according to the report. The report also explains that these aerial phenomena between 2004 and 2021 that they deal with probably lacks any one explanation when they state the UAP documented in this limited data set demonstrate an array of aerial behaviours, reinforcing the possibility there are multiple types of UAP requiring different explanations. Our analysis of the data supports the construct that if and when individual UAP incidents are resolved, they will fall into one of five potential explanatory categories. Airborne clutter, natural atmospheric phenomena, USG or industry development programs, foreign adversary systems, and a catch-all other bin. With the exception of one instance, when we determined with high confidence that the reported UAP was airborne clutter, specifically a deflating balloon, we currently lack sufficient information in our dataset to attribute incidents to specific explanations, according to the report. On flight safety and national security, it says that the unidentified aerial phenomena does pose a hazard to the safety of flight and could pose a broader danger if some instances represent sophisticated collections against US military activities by a foreign government or demonstrate a breakthrough aerospace technology by a potential adversary. But it does go on to say that they currently lack any data to indicate any UAP are part of a foreign collection programme or indicative of a major technological advancement by a potential adversary. And they go on to say that they continue to monitor for evidence of such programmes given the counterintelligence challenges that that would pose, particularly as some UAP have been detected near military facilities or by aircraft carrying the United States government's most advanced sensor systems. A statement was released by Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby on the matter, and it reads as follows. Today, the Director of National Intelligence delivered to Congress a preliminary assessment on unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, and the progress that the intelligence community and the Department of Defense UAP Task Force has made in understanding this threat. Analyzing UAP is a collaborative effort involving many departments and agencies, and the Department thanks the Office of the Director of National Intelligence for leading a collaborative effort to produce this assessment, as well as the other contributing departments and agencies. Incursions into our training ranges and designated airspace pose safety of flight operations and security concerns, and may pose national security challenges, and the Department of Defence takes reports of incursions by any aerial object, identified or unidentified very seriously, and investigates each one. The report submitted today highlights the challenges associated with assessing UAP, occurring on or near Department of Defence training ranges and installations. The report also identified the need to make improvements in processes, policies, technologies and training to improve our ability to understand, 
the UAP phenomena. Deputy Secretary of Defence Kathleen Hicks today gave the order for security to develop a plan to formalise the mission currently performed by the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force. This plan will be developed in coordination with various DoD components, including the military departments and the combatant commands, and also with ODNI and other interagency partners. The plan will establish procedures for synchronising collection, reporting and analysis of UAP. It will provide recommendations for securing military tests and training ranges, and identify requirements for the establishment and operation of a new follow-on DoD activity to lead the efforts, including its alignment, resources, staffing, authorities and a timeline for implementation. The bottom line here is that they don't know what these phenomena could be, and that is utterly amazing. They don't know how to intercept and they can't rule out the possibility that this is not human activity. This report, which we will link below for you to download, describes aerial craft making manoeuvres that are currently beyond human technological capabilities. This includes Chinese and Russian capabilities, and you have to wonder why this is not logical to us just now. What's going on? We may not have the answers guys, but for now, at least we have the questions. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow, what is that, man? Look at the fly! Roger. 